temperatures, the internet literally is all over the place. Nobody seems to be able to come and agree on certain bake time and temperature guidelines. 350 degrees to 500 degrees, 30 minutes to 60 minutes, it's all over the place and everybody seems to be an expert. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some uh, guidelines from uh, the baking industry where I was at, where time and temperature and productivity is very, very important. So let, without further ado, this five minute video, let's go. Bake times and temperatures. So what is the perfect bake time and temperature? One that delivers optimum oven spring, fully bakes your product in the time that you've allotted all the way throughout the loaf, provides the color and the crust characteristics that you want, and of course the grain texture and the eating qualities that you desire. Now the factors which affect baking times and temperatures are of course things like your oven. You know, does it actually deliver the correct set temperature? All ovens are different anyway, just to begin with, so the oven plays, of course, a very important role. The quantity of sugar that you have in your dough, higher the sugar, the uh, generally the lower the temperature, especially in the final stages of baking, because of the um, excessive colorization that you get uh, through the baking cycle with, of course, high sugar products. The density, the weight of the product you're making, also plays a factor. Dense products generally take a little bit longer to bake. I don't think there's too much difference in temperature, but it's a time thing. So the denser the product, the longer it takes. Formula, heavy grains, flours, these types of things, once again, a little bit longer in time. And um, ultimately, the grain texture and the eating qualities that you desire. So as I ranted on at the beginning of this video about this broad range of big time recommendations coming from all sorts of places on the internet, I wanted to give you these ones. These are the recommendations that I'm going to give you. This is not even recommendations. These are kind of standard guidelines. If you go look online, even, um, you, you know, you're going to find some of the sites that are sane will give you temperatures right in and around here. Uh, you're going to find some crazy ones out there with the 350s and the 375s and the 500s, you know. Believe me, these are kind of the industry guidelines from my experience in not only my with my baking company, but the many of the other bakeries that I have um, worked with. You can see that the times, they're not 60 minutes. You know, I've seen some, many sites saying, oh, you bake this loaf of pan bread for 40 to 60 minutes. Nobody bakes 40 to 60 minutes unless they want a dry, dried out piece of bread at the, end of the, at the end of the day. The idea about baking is to bake generally as quickly as possible so that you retain the moisture inside the bread uh, so that you have good eating quality and uh, softness and the type of internal texture that um, is deemed desirable. Now, if you want a dry, real dry loaf of bread, go ahead, bake it for forever. But these numbers right in here are uh, reality and most bakers, I think, would agree. Now, if you're using a Dutch oven, you obviously need to flash your oven up to get it nice and hot, especially if your Dutch oven's cold, just kind of makes sense. You know, you've got to heat that Dutch oven up. Uh, and so, and that's where you get a lot of your oven spring also is from having a lower temperature at the very beginning stages of baking. So that many people tell you, get your oven up to 480 degrees so that you get that oven spring. You don't get oven spring from a really hot oven. You get oven spring from a cooler environment and at the first stages of baking. So keep that in mind. If you're, these are the temperatures that you want inside your chamber. Ultimately, whether it's inside your Dutch oven or inside your oven uh, generally. If you're using, if you're baking on the hearth, the temperatures are pretty darn close. Don't think too much. Most all of these temperatures will work. You're just going to play a little bit with your time uh, and that should uh, keep you completely sorted.
Now, of course, there are the exceptions. You want that really thick, that almost burnt kind of crispy crust? Okay, yes, give your, your bread more time, for sure. You've got an exceptionally heavy or dense style bread. It just needs more time. Agreed. So maybe you've got to give it 40 minutes, depending on the denseness and the, the pan size that you're using. You have to keep all of the stuff into consideration. And also, you might want to give it more time if you like your bread tough and chewy and it'll eat it over a day. And that's how you prefer it because you like kind of dried out, uh, chewy, tough bread that's got no moisture in it. <laughs> so anyway, and of course, the other factors are your, the type of oven that you're using. Uh, you need to kind of get in tune with it. They all perform slightly different and... Um, may affect your uh, bake times at the end of the day. So keep that in mind. Thank you very much for watching the video. I'm gonna be releasing a lot of these little, a little short videos. So hit that subscribe button, keep on top of everything that's coming out, and please drop me a line and let me know what uh, you think of everything in the comment section. So anyway, thank you. See you next time on No BS Baking.